Hi XR developers, in the last video we looked at polyspatial input and in this video we're going to look at how to interact with UI components. We're going to look at how to use the keyboard of the Vision OS system so we can type or even speak our input and then we're going to look at another way of getting speech input. We're going to use the Whisper API from OpenAI which is a machine learning model. This is going to allow us to just speak in our microphone and the model is going to detect which words we speak. If you like this type of content please take a second to leave a like and subscribe. If you want to get the source code please consider subscribing subscribing to my Patreon and if you have any questions feel free to join our growing XR developer community on Discord. And now let's get started with UI input with Unity Polyspatial. We will start with a new Polyspatial project and go ahead and set up a new scene. I am using the Mixed Reality app mode for this demo. In this scene we first add a normal scene camera. We can find a prefab for this in the Polyspatial samples. Then let's add the most important piece which is the volume camera. For this, we create an empty game object and add the volume camera, as well as the volume camera resize listener component. Make sure to assign a bounded volume camera configuration, which also comes with the polyspatial samples. Then we are ready to add a canvas. Make sure you also have a event system and make sure to replace the standalone input module with the input system UI input module. We want to select world space for the canvas render mode. We then scale down the canvas and then simply add our UI component. Let's just add an input field, a button and a slider. Let's just scale and position them correctly in our volume. And we are then ready to go ahead and build our project to our device. You can watch my previous video to see how you can set up your device or simulator with Unity and Xcode as well as how to install all necessary packages to create your polyspatial app. Now, on our device, we can see our app. After opening, you will see that we can now interact with each UI component like we are used to. Fantastic. When we click on the input field, Vision OS will even open the system keyboard for us. Even the voice input works on our TextMesh Pro input field. Amazing. Now what if you'd like to get speech-to-text input in another way, instead of the system keyboard? How about we use AI? For this we can use Whisper for Unity, by Alex Evgrashen. It provides high-performance inference of OpenAI's Whisper automatic speech recognition model running on your local Apple Vision Pro device. To install this package into our Unity project, we simply need to copy the link that you can find in the description and go over to our Unity package manager. Here we click on New Package from Git URL and paste in our link from before. This will now install the Whisper package into our project. Now to actually use this technology, we need a machine learning model. We will use a model that was converted to a custom binary format. This allows you to pack everything needed into a single file, such as model parameters, filters, vocabulary and weights, without going into the theory of machine learning too much. I will leave this page in the description where you can find different models. We will choose the ggml-tiny model in the binary format. As the name suggests, this model is smaller and will give us faster responses. However, we might have some weaker speech recognition overall compared to heavier models. Once the model is downloaded, head over to Unity and under Assets, it is crucial to create a Streaming Assets folder. In this folder, let's create another folder called Whisper. And lastly, drag our model into this folder. And that's already everything for our Whisper setup. Let's now set up our scene and create the logic to actually talk to our AI. We get started by setting up our Whisper scene in the same way as our last scene, with a scene camera, a volume camera, and a canvas with an event system. On my canvas, I first added a panel, which functions as my background. Then. We need a text field, which will be the transcript of our model, or in other words, the sentences we speak while the model is listening. Next, I created a simple image with a round texture. This image is our VAD indicator. VAD stands for Voice Activity Detection. When we speak, the circle should later turn green, and if not, it should be red. Lastly, we have a simple button, which will later start and stop our model. Next, I created an empty game object. 
and attach the Whisper Manager component, which comes with the package from GitHub. This script manages the Whisper model lifecycle in our Unity scene during runtime. As you can see here, if we correctly added our model to the Streaming Assets folder, it will automatically set the path already. Lastly, let's create another empty game object for our demo. Here I attach a custom script, which we will look at in a second, which is called Streaming Sample Mic. Also, we attach the microphone record component, which also comes with the package installation. This script controls the microphone input settings and recordings, as well as changes the color of our indicator. Let's now look at our custom logic to make this demo work. Firstly, we get a reference to our whisper manager and the microphone recorder. Next, we need a button to start and stop the microphone and a button text. Lastly, we need a text field for our transcript and a reference to our whisper stream. In the start method, we get a reference to the stream by calling the create stream method from the whisper manager and passing the microphone recorder. We can then subscribe to the results coming from our whisper stream, which we then want to display in our text field. Next, we subscribe to another event, which is automatically called when we stop our microphone recorder. With this callback, we simply set the text on our button back to start. Now, to trigger our main logic, we subscribe to our button click. When we click the button and the microphone is not recording already, we start the stream and start recording our microphone. If the microphone was already recording, we will simply stop it. Lastly, we update the text on our button accordingly. Let's now go back to Unity and make sure we assigned all the references in our inspector correctly. Let's now go ahead and try it out in our editor first. Hi, this is Whisper AI for Unity. Let's test this out on our device. To test this on our device, Make sure to select the device SDK, and also, very importantly, we need to go over to the player settings and fill in a microphone usage description. In my case, I just wrote Whisper. Let's build the project and open it up on your device. Let's speak a sentence and see if Whisper can correctly transcribe it. And this is how you can get speech input for VisionOS with Unity, Polyspatial, and the Whisper API from OpenAI. As you can see, the performance is not that good. Some words are still wrong, so you might want to try other models. All right, guys, and that's it. Let me know if you want to see more videos about Apple Vision Pro, and I hope you find this video helpful. Let me know what you want to see next, and as always, please take a second to like and subscribe, support me on Patreon to get all the source codes, and join our growing XR developer community on Discord. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.